Laughing Panda. All right, I did some off-camera grinding in a sense by basically setting up a farm, and I think it's glorious. Uh, I bought the tables, the longer tables. I found out where to buy upgrades for like things like that. It's in Hogsmeade, and I've sort of streamlined my growing and making of potions, and I went overboard on Wigan Worlds. Because I didn't realise there was a maximum I could carry. Anywho, I'm going to talk to Deke. Because he's got a little thing that I need to do. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke. But Tobbs is gone. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's it right. seems he was unable back. to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this. Alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are. You didn't sound kind. it. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. I guess, in my room of requirement. But uh, all right. All right. Next mission, because I looked at the quests at what's to do, is I'm just going to start talking to all these people. So. Think wait they're all near each other really. Uh wait, I think we'll go to this one. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. Ah not in the slightest. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Huh? Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. Ooh. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. It's not why I invited us here, is it? She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. Oh, so I'm gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Uh, that's incredible. How did you become an Animagus? Do you choose your Animagus form? Do you choose it? Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Um, how did you become an anime? I'm just going to say that's incredible. Now the name makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have! It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature. Especially one as rare as a gazelle should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she 
She claims she has a good she point. Has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Uh, perhaps your mother is right. We can't allow your mother to stop us. Mm, we can't allow your We're mother to stop us. Progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. Now you could very well you die. You have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. We could all die. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. <laughs> As I walk away whilst you're trying to finish it. I'm sorry. So I've asked John. I shot my pants. That fucking suit of armor. Give me a friend. You'll never believe what I've What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed well. students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I see, I understand. I regret using Kushu. I agree, we did what we had to. It was hard to do, but I agree, we did Crucio what we had to. was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. Oh. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic Holy. might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic. But I don't think we should tell anyone, especially ominous. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have a massive falling out. We should or we shouldn't. Oh, if I tell him we should, he might block me out. So I'm gonna say I, I see won't no say a reason word. to involve ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Oh, thank Ominous. God. We were just about to get some air. I really didn't want to keep with problem. You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding Kaboom. a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Destruction. Come on. <laughs> not letting this go. Okay, I could talk to you now. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Oh, what happened to the Sebastian's parents? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. Needed more That's dragons. Why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. I don't know. Spell books given a Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues. You've only lost one no person, further. you prick. But if you think he might, please let me know. You're fucking fifteen, something like that. It would mean a lot. Do you know everything, Dick? He's, uh, that annoyed me there. That really did. It's because he's, he's hard to just stay away, just stay away, because he's one person went missing, and like, 
people, he's known people to get tortured, but like, even the book itself says you shouldn't fear it. Ugh, where are we going? Do you want to talk? I want to talk. Please? Alright, I guess not. Alright, let's go to the other person that wants to talk. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those was awesome. in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, it's not I that don't far from just the a fucking. We set free was wearing a just collar, a shock collar. We should check, and if we can find her, we can return her egg. I suppose this is 1890. Uh, we should check on her. We haven't we done enough? Of... Yeah, I want to go check That's on the dragon. Idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. What? What? Why is he after you? It's to do with Ran Rock. Uh, I'd better not see it at present. I'd better not see it at present. If it's all right with you. I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. Yeah, but I we're in a public pub. Details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Say she was just there and she was clearly eavesdropping. That was so sketchy what she just did. A little scuffle. I'll shuffle on our feet even. Right. What's next? Oh, there's something right next to me actually. What's this? Speak with the Hufflepuff next to Dogweed and Deathcar. I guess I shall. Yeah. Howdy. Pardon me. My turn. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacrissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may Dana. surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want what? to help the less okay. fortunate. Uh, how genuinely kind of you. How condescending. How d I'm going to be condescending back and see if she picks up. <laughs> oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, Booba Chuba Pus. Booba Chuba <laughs> do grow Fuck in the off. forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. <sighs> I understand. What are booba tubers? What precisely are booba tubers? Disgusting things, really. Are those Covered just streamers that show the tits? One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh. I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. Uh, okay, I'll try and I find try some. I can find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself. I but doubt it's I for your classmates, to. I bet it's for you. I only need a few booba tubers, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our what is... classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't uh -huh. worry. What is it about business people asking booba you tubers. to do it for them? I hope and it's then them the just basically claiming everything. It's such like, I mean, that's kind of what employment is, right? Think, is this where I need? Yeah, this, this is, is where, where I need Sakurissa to be. Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? He's on wall. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. 
Professor Weasley's assignment. Right. Let's just do this. Rebellio. Right. Oh, what was this? Have I found it? This better be it. Oh my god, I hate this kind of shit. Or I don't, but I'm just miserable. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright. Where's this field page? Sorry, is it over here? There you are. Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats delivery, delivering first-year students across the Black Lake at Hogwarts. Awesome. Oh. I was never here, buddy. <laughs> Sucker! So this is the underground harbor. Okay. Hopefully, I actually had to go in the way that I did. And that I've just sort of unlocked this little secret spot. Wait, actually, hmm. I hopped on my broom at, oh, at pretty much the very moment. I got into this area, so I probably screwed myself over. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wait, he's got him. They've got fast brooms, you dicks. Okay. Um, it's got to be an entrance point around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love this library, it's massive. Clear. Alright. Clearfield guy page. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. It, was it in the restricted section? Of intermediate transfiguration. No. You know he fucking Lumos. was looking for this. That's not that far, that's like there. Yes, I was. Okay, fine, you caught me. What do you want? Professor Weasley asked me to uh get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some is this how you flirt, or is this just the trivia. people? I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with Fucking work. nerd. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Hurry up. No, uh, that could be a fun. Quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. This is why, Professor Witch, if you set this up. Witch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? <laughs> the Golden Snuggery, the Golden Snitcher, the Snake Bird, the Golden Snitcher. The Golden Snidget. Correct. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly. They're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Um, Felix Felicius. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes Actually, the probably, I, I do luck, know this. Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The team yeah. of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Uh, Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, 
The Deathly Hallows consist of the Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Invisibility. Fuck off. Which born in Quidditch is the largest. Um, the snitch is the smallest. The bludgers are the balls that smack you in the face. The, the quaffle, it's the right. one that you hold. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. Oh my god, it was true. Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Uh, true, because Hermione turns Actually, into a cat. The answer was false. While Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. I'm well, sorry, but I Hermione gets changed in into a cat. I'll put the book back or at least semi changed into a Fuck you, way. that's wrong! I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. <sighs> Fine, I'd like give to me more, more questions. questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? We get fucked. Uh, the Wizards Council. The International Confederation of Wizards. The Order of, Order of Merlin, Order maybe? Of Merlin. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizards Council. The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707. <sighs> Can I skip? Which dragon oh, breed okay. is the smallest? Uh, the Peruvian Viper Tooth, Ukrainian Iron Belly, Opali. The Antipodean Opali. No, I'm sorry, but the answer was the Peruvian Viper Tooth. Though the Viper Tooth <sighs> is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, I don't care. Founded the village of Hogsmeade. Uh, Quincy, Quincy Hog. Hog. No, the answer was Henry. It is believed. Fucking. That I wish I didn't ask. A demi guys. I didn't even. Yes. While the high vine has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, uh. thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? 